today's current climate, I'm getting a lot of people asking me what I see on our Biopulsar Aura technology. Because the Biopulsar is a holistic tool, we're getting multiple perspectives of what the energy looks like of people when certain conditions arise. Now, I have to tell you, I haven't done anybody with COVID, and so I can't give you that firsthand experience, but I can share with you some of the other things that we've come across that I think might be similar in relationship. Now, whether or not you're a Biopulsar owner or you're wanting to get a scan, to just you know, do a checkup to make sure that everything um, is looking tickety boo, then you know certainly we can um, you know uh, give you the names of people who in your who are in your area that have a biopulsar system. Now, one of the things that I've done is I've actually created a checklist of things that we need to look at when we're looking at the immune system because there are a lot of biomarkers that um, we need to be aware of when we're looking at if uh, an immune system is compromised. So. So for example, we're looking at the thymus gland because that is connected to our body's automatic defense mechanism. So we look at the state of the thymus gland to determine if um, it, the, the thymus gland is um, you know, working optimally or if it's a little bit hyperactive because maybe it's fending off something or if it's hypoactive, which means it doesn't have the capabilities to resist anything that's incoming. So more importantly, we're looking at if the thymus is at a weaker state. But we also have to take note of the respiratory system because COVID is attacking the respiratory system. So we're looking at the heart, the lungs, our whole breathing apparatus as to the activity. Now, one of the things um, as a, uh, somebody who's done thousands and thousands of scans on the biopulsar, whenever we see a highly aggressive virus, which I'm suspecting COVID is of that nature, we will always see the colors of purple in areas that are indicating that the body has um, this possibility of a, of a virus attacking it. So when we see, for example, that purple hue um, you know, in the respiratory system, then that means that there is a highly aggressive uh, virus that the, the, the respiratory system is having to deal with. We also look at the immune system. We want to see that the immune system is capable of, um, you know, handling any stress that's in the body, that there's nothing that's, um, you know, that's attacking uh, the lymph system or in the lymph system that the body uh, is unable to, to, um, to allow to flow. Now, other biomarkers we would look at would be the adrenals. Is the adrenal strong enough that you can actually fight against um, anything that's happening in, in your life as well as within your body dynamics. We also look at the spine. The spine is connected to the cerebral fluid as well as it's a connection to the blood. And if the spine is healthy, then we know that, you know, again, the blood is healthy. But when we see that the blood is in that purple hue, then we know that the blood is carrying that virus. And we also look for signs of dehydration because dehydration means that the water isn't getting into the cells and so therefore the electrolyte activity isn't happening in that area and that organ is in uh, you know, a shutdown phase and so it can't support you well enough back to optimal health. So I hope those um, you know, biomarker indications are helpful for you to understand a little bit more about our immune system and what we need to look at when we're doing a biopulsar scan to ensure that you're in good health. So we are looking at these organs to see where you're at. Now, another thing that I just wanted to mention too, because Color Energy has a line of products that help support the body, um, I've just put some products down here for you that I think are great right now in in regards to fighting COVID. And I'll explain that more in the next video.